What is going on guys? Craig1287 here, playing some Planet Side 2. Uh, gonna be switching to this mostly from Battlefield, looking at this flip over vehicle. Um, Battlefield's gone through a lot of changes, mostly by the user base, so uh, trying out this game, and it is free, and it is freaking fantastic. Uh, playing as the TR right now, the Terran Republic, one of the three uh, factions that you can pick. And uh, I'm actually a NC, new conglomerate player, ma major, uh, majority of my time. But hey, there he goes. But um, I needed a character that didn't have a lot of unlocks because I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks. And I'm going to have a series of just quick tips uh, for this game. Uh, this first episode probably going to be a little lengthier than, uh, than normal already because I'm just doing all these explanations. But... Um, in the future, other episodes, probably just going to be uh, one tip that takes a matter of 30 seconds, maybe a minute, uh, things of that sort. But this one I'm going to try to cover uh, quite a few basics to help you get on your feet if you have just started playing this game. Literally, you've, you've downloaded, you've installed, you've booted it up, set an account up, and you've picked a faction. As for your factions, there are differences between them. I'm not going to go into too much depth between them. Um, specifics because there is a lot of depth to them, but basically uh, NC, New Conglomerate, they are heavy hitting weapons, uh, not massive magazines, not really high fire rates, but per bullet they're going to do a lot of damage, but they've got a lot of recoil to uh, counter that. For the uh, VS Vanu Sovereign, the purple guys, they have uh, very little to absolutely no bullet drop on their weapons. They're kind of a middle ground damage, middle ground fire rate, middle ground uh, everything really um, pretty interesting group especially with their uh, vehicles they have a lot of things that will uh, hover over the ground rather than be uh, based on wheels uh, so the physics there are different and then here we have again the TR the Terran Republic these guys are more of like your modern type of weapons you see here I have a 40 round magazine It shoots 10 more rounds than a 30 round magazine gun, so clearly you're going to have more bullets to put down range. They shoot pretty fast, but they, they deal very little damage. Um, but their spread is pretty small and recoils very small compared to the new conglomerate. So based on what I just said, that'll give you a quick decision on, on what class you want to make, or uh, what uh, you know um, group you want to go with, what group you want to side with. Um, and you can have up to three soldiers on three different servers. So you can have one of each. So there's really no pressure there. You can easily delete them and recreate a new one on a new server if you feel the need to do that. All right, let's get right into the uh, tips. I am currently a uh, combat medic. I can use this tool to heal other people. I can use this very same tool to revive them if they are on the ground. No one's dead here. Uh, you can't get damaged here, no friendly fire. Friendly fire is on constantly in this game, except in this area, the warp gate. And um, so the same tool can do both. So if I ever upgrade this, it's helping in both areas. And I can also hit F, which is my key. You'll see there on the left side um, of my aiming reticule, my crosshair, that little bar just depleted. That would heal me and those around me. So that's a tool that you can use to heal yourself, and it does take quite a while to recharge. Now, then you've got your weapons. you got your primary and your secondary. There's a lot going on in this game. There's a lot that you can upgrade. So, again, this is just going to be a quick guide to help you. Well, not so quick now, but a, a guide to help you get on your feet. You notice that over here, I can bring up my mouse. So I don't know if you can see that with the recording, but I hit Alt to bring up my mouse. And over here to the left, just above my map, I've got the certs points. I have 10 certification points. Now you can use those to buy new weapons, buy new abilities, upgrade abilities, you know, equip your vehicles with uh, all sorts of new weapons and, and features and gadgets and things of that sort. You can also use station cash, but if you're just starting this game out, you're probably not going to want to you know, put up $50 or $60 or maybe even $10 to purchase these things. You're going to want to rely on cert points, but they come in pretty darn slow unless you are very active and very good in playing with a large group of people taking out bases and stuff like that so you gotta be really careful where you spend them once you use them you can't get them back so I'm gonna show you what to do with these points again to help get you on your feet I am a combat medic I'm gonna go to this terminal which brings up my 
uh, loadout. Now I can go to this specific weapon and go to certs. Now sadly there's nothing with the specific weapons that you start out with that you can purchase with the 10 certs that I've got. Uh, everything costs at least 30. But what can I do? Within the actual player in his abilities and tools and things of that sort, there are things that cost only one cert point. Uh, some examples of this would be your suit slot. You'll see three different options. Um, I wouldn't go with either of these two. They're kind of useless in my opinion. I would go with this Nano Weave Armor, which gives a 10% boost for the very first cert point. If you mouse over just the individual boxes, orange boxes or whatever color they are, they will give you a statistical breakdown of what they do and their cost so you can see down the line how much it's going to cost you. But if you move your mouse on the actual image to the left of the little cert box, uh, it will give you a written description of what it is. So, you know, when you start this game out, take your time and read everything before spending your points. Okay, maybe, maybe not everything, but get a good feel for what you are spending these points on. So like I said, it's only one point and it's going to give me 10% increase in health. So I'm going to hit cert and accept. There you go. You get it unlocked. It plays cool music. You're going to hear that a lot as you unlock stuff. Now the next one is 10 points. So can't really do much there. I'm down to nine. So let's look at some of these other ones. Let's, you just go through it and look at what you can get. Passive, nope, can't get it, 100. Tool slot, nope, 10. You actually get this by default, so it'll be 10 to get the tier 2 of it. Uh, tool slot, uh, I believe that was the one that I just clicked on. Ability slot, aha, there we go. It actually does start you out by default with uh, tier 1, or whatever you want to call it, level 1. And to get level 2, look at that, top right corner of the little description of that block, one cert point right there. One cert. This is the ability where I hit F, my key to replenish my own health and those around me. So let's get that. Uh, and worth noting, you don't get points when you heal people via that or yourself, so it pays off to use your tool to heal people rather than that ability. But when all hell is breaking loose, um, there's multiple people needing healing, then that is a good thing to use. Alright, suit slot we've already upgraded. Let's go with grenade slot. I can already tell you, definitely not going to be upgrading any of that. Utility slot, not going to be paying for <laughs> C4. Very expensive. And then again, there's your pistol. Uh, same thing with the weapon. Everything's going to cost at least 30. So that's your um, individual kit, uh, you know, abilities and whatnot. And you can do the same with the uh, like the engineer. We can go to uh, certs, reduce that uh, little menu right there, and go to suit slot. Oh look, nano weave. It is uh, each each upgrade. It is bound to your individual class picked, and stuff does not carry over um, beyond servers. It is soldier bound, and then individually class bound, except for one category. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Might as well. Um, there are a few things that are carrying over into every soldier. That is the universal utility slot. Don't want to go into specifics on that too much. Again, those cost too much. You're not going to be able to get those starting out anyways. And I'd like to talk about the differences between those. That'll be in a previous, uh, or in a, in a later episode. So, we've just put a few points into some of our um, abilities and tools, uh, things of that sort, for the specific classes. But you can also use these certs that only cost one on your vehicles. So let's go hit escape to bring up the uh, menu. And I, here I am on the certs tab. You have all these tabs down here. And here is the cert tab. Here's the vehicles option. There are certain parts of the vehicles that only cost one cert point. So let's go with the Sunderer. Probably one of the most vital uh, vehicles in a, it just in, in this game. It really helps to uh, keep your numbers up because it can eventually become a spawn point. But that does cost 50. So not going to be getting that. But look at here, passive system, acquisition timer. This has cost one cert point on, as far as I know, every single vehicle. It will reduce it by 90 seconds, a minute and a half. So there you go, one cert point. Now when I use this, get blown up, and then have to reuse it, I don't have to wait as long. Still going to take a while, but not as long. All right, so that only used one cert point. Uh, for the rest of these, you're going to have to have more than one cert point. Uh, it's just a... Uh, that's just the facts of life. But for the weapons, it already has two different weapons on it. Now, as the driver, I can't use either the primary or the secondary weapon as I'm driving. 
So directly, they don't help me, but people will be in here and using these, and if they are killing uh, people with anti-vehicle things around me, well, then they are helping me out indirectly. So let's go with the primary, and look, there you go. Cert cost one, cert cost one. It's gonna increase the ammo capacity, yes please. And it's gonna increase the zoom level. Well, actually, it's going to add a zoom level. So there we go, just got those both. Now the only thing is, that only applies to the primary. I would have to go to the secondary and purchase it for this one. So for those vehicles that have multiple weapons, you're, it's gonna be double costly. If that's a term, I don't know. So, we've just bought all these things. Do I have them yet? No. Common misconception. Uh, common just, you know, think, yeah, this guy's shooting a lot. That's going to be loud. I hope you guys can hear me over that. But, um, all right, he's a punk. I'm just going to go out here and use this booth. Now, you have to go to this terminal and go to your loadout. Now, for the combat medic, I... Actually, no, that's for, uh, that's for attachments for the, for the weapon. But we go to here, suit. All right, click on that, nano-weave armor. All right, so you see, nothing is here. Click it, click it, previous, now it is there. All right, whenever you guys unlock something, you do have to equip it. That applies to attachments for weapons. Once I do buy something for this, it'll pop up a little box over here um, asking to change the attachments. And when you look at it here, you'll see a little image over here that shows you four boxes for the, well, possible four boxes for the possible four attachments that you could have on a weapon at any point in time. Uh, you can customize your appearance, but it doesn't have any effect on your actual combat abilities, so don't bother uh, spending any money in that. Alrighty. There you go, guys. I got plenty of other tips that are going to be coming out uh, talking about uh, grenade purchases, uh, I'm not going to really go into too much uh, talking about the different types of resources. There are plenty of other videos out there that discuss that. Um, so uh, that's pretty much is uh, wrapping it up. You know, if you come in here, people are shooting like that guy was. Uh, switch to the engineer really quick. Um, hit your four key or your mouse wheel or whatever to get to this. And just throw the little ammo thing down as they shoot and reload. And they're spamming and spamming. They will do that. Alright, well that guy shot just as it did the click sound, but that click sound was the sound of me. Oh, look at there. See, there you go. He is currently giving me XP. So just do that. Anytime you're in here, people are, are testing their uh, weapons. You know, they just uh, purchased a new weapon or try uh, are using a trial of a new weapon, which I'll go to, into in a later video. And just, you know, they pick an object and they're testing the recoil, testing burst, testing full auto, and uh, we're doing the compensating for the recoil. You know, they're going to, look at all that, I'm just constantly getting points and points. Go up to people. If nobody's shooting, throw one of these on the ground and go up to them and shoot them. And then somebody's going to start shooting in response, and then they're going to reload and give you more points. I sound really excited about this, but I don't really, I don't know why. I mean, it's only 10 points per, and um, yeah, so that, that's just a good way to get experience over time. And as you'll see, actually, uh, look at my little certs over here to the left again, it was two just a little bit ago, it is currently three. Over time, your uh, those points will go up. Even when you're logged off, you will get two of them every six hours up to 48 hours. If you're a member, that will be increased, but again, you guys might not be members if you're just starting out. Um, and all you have to do is log in, that resets the 48 hour uh, time period, and you can start racking up those points again. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you, if you learned something, you know, give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments uh, as to what you would like to see. Uh, I still consider myself to be kind of a noob with this game. This game is not easy. It is very complicated compared to other shooters that are out there. There's a lot going on. Um, it is huge. It's got 2,000 players. Guys, this is free. Please check this game out. Um, you know, I, I honestly am probably going to end up spending more than 50 uh, or even 60 for console type of price uh, dollars on this game uh, simply because, well, things in this are not cheap when it comes to station cash, 
but um, it's just such a good game, and I really feel that the uh, developers, they, they really do deserve the money for all the time that they've put into this. So, again, please like if you did like it, dislike if you disliked it, and leave some comments on what you want to see, and if you have any uh, suggested uh, tips and tricks that you would like to see me uh, do in another video. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Have a good one. Ta-ta.